OR statements return a TRUE if any of the conditions inside the statement are TRUE. So if I create a new parameter, I will call this CHECK ANY SIZE EXCEEDED set the type of parameter to yes and group the parameter under data if i type in the syntax or open brackets check max depth exceeded comma check max width exceeded close brackets this value will return a true or a yes if the max depth is exceeded or the max width is exceeded so if i change the width to 1900 the max width is exceeded and therefore the any size is exceeded if I change the depth to a thousand, both the width and the depth have been exceeded, and therefore any size exceeded will still be true. If I make the width compliant, but the depth is still exceeded, any size exceeded is still ticked. So this can be used to return a true value if any of the conditions inside the OR statement or inside the brackets separated with a comma are true. And there is no limit to the number of conditions that can be present inside the OR statement. I want to alert any users that any of these sizes have been exceeded and using a parameter is not a very clear or user-friendly way of clearly identifying there is an issue. So if I select OK, I'll go to the floor plan and I will create a piece of model text and I will type the word warning select OK. I'll place it on the ground floor for the time being. Set the depth to 10 millimeters and I will edit the work plane to be the tabletop. And I will move the warning so it sits in the middle of the table and I will increase the size to 100 millimeters. And move it so that it is in the center. I now want this warning to appear when any of the maximum dimensions are exceeded. So I can associate the visible property of this text to the check any size exceeded. So if I now load this into a project and I select the table, select edit type. If I change the width to 1900 and click apply, I can see that the warning sign appears on the table and the associated check formula appear yes for the max width exceeded 
and any size exceeded and the any size exceeded is the parameter that is driving the visibility of the model text. So that is how to associate a or statement to a parameter and then also how to associate some model geometry to that visibility parameter to make the warning more visible to users of the family.